Pinch Punch beginning of the month. It's sort of the start of the month and that's the time where I dig into E-Rank to look at what keywords have been trending with shoppers right now to see if we can get an idea of what kind of trends are going on, if we can find some sneaky little keywords. So let's dig right into it with trends, monthly trends. So I'm using my E-Rank Expert account. You can get this on all paid accounts and a more limited version on um, free accounts. So pop over to erank.com to get, to get this. I think you get the first 10 or 100 or you get something on the free account someone let me know i can't remember anyway so these are the most popular search terms on etsy for january um, and we also see the search trend graph to see how they trend over the year and that is already interesting we've got some new ones and some ones that aren't always necessarily right at the top so valentine's gift is a brand new one hitting hitting number one out of nowhere because there's been practically no searches i imagine this is due to the etsy gift buying thing we're likely to be seeing more valentine's things we are indeed valentine's gifts for him so it just tells you even if people are clicking through from links on the home page if you see a link on the home page and it's got a tag that's kind of well it has a keyword that's relevant to your items maybe you could have thrown that in a tag last month and been away so have a search in a incognito mode on etsy um, and set the location to wherever you prefer to sell the most to and see what's on the home page, what keywords are coming up. I've shown you how to do this in the past, but yeah, super, super easy, super fun. Um, but there we go. Valentine's gift out of nowhere, 275,000 searches in January. Good to know. And wall art, it took a it took a step up in December and it's still holding really high in January, enough to be in the number two place, which is definitely pretty cool. Now, Gift, although it's in the third place, is actually down a bit, which is cool. This is probably because Etsy's pushing for the more specific search terms rather than just gift for her or something. Valentine's gift for him, you know, spreading it out a little bit bracelet has got quite a spike i think we'll dig into that one because that is the highest bracelet has been in 15 months in probably all the time of me looking so you jewelry sellers jewelry is a valentine's gift looks good valentine's gift for him again probably a neatsy related search but a really good one necklace yeah been holding strong since when was that october necklace is looking good so jewelry is doing well Stickers has been flying high for the past couple of years and still looking good. It took a step down change in September last year, but it's still holding strong. It still looks pretty good to me. Um, downloading things go away. I don't know how to get that to go away without clicking on it. Um, 2024 calendar. Yes. I would have expected that to sell more in December, but it's, it's searched for in January. That's probably not worth worrying about just now. But if it's something you can make or something you do make, pop it into your little mind. That is annoying me. I do, there we go. Pop it into your little memory or pop it into a keywords list um, and save it and think of making something. Think of making your 2025 calendar yeah, make it around August, I think. Get that listed around August. Valentine's Day, that is not a surprise. This one had some search volume last year as well, as expected. Ooh, Etsy, Valentine home decor. Do you decorate for Valentine's Day? I suppose a nice romantic table settings, that could be good. Um, earrings and jewellery have this little flame by them because they've been hot recently as well. They weren't just good last month, they're still doing well, um, which is good to see. Um, handmade gift, yes, um, Etsy's pushing that, but Valentine's shirt, goodness, people will buy anything for a holiday, won't they? which is very cool we'll do the top 20 valentine's day gift for her interesting valentine's day gift for him is higher which is still suggesting that there's more women searching on etsy for male things rather than men coming and 
I bet you. Shall we do this? Shall we? I think we should. Let's just pop over to the home page. I'm intrigued if Valentine's Day gift for him. I don't want to refresh data. Do we have on in the past week? I was wondering, yeah, if Valentine's gift for him, for her would have popped up in the top five. It's not. I was just having a think going. But men are buying, historically men buy later. So that might be why that's um, a little further down. I don't know. But okay, no surprise. In January, a lot of the searches are for Valentine's, um, which is very cool. Um, definitely good to know. Searching for lots of gifts for males. That's very good to know for next year. This is the thing. <laughs> we want to look, we want to be looking ahead. But what did it? Yeah, I'm sitting on bracelet. Bracelet looks very interesting to me. Why are people searching for bracelet in such great numbers? Let's let's have a nosy and see if we can learn anything from this. I know we have plenty of jewelry sellers here, but even not, hopefully you'll learn something for how I do these things. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, this comes up with include near matches. Near matches will probably be bracelet and bracelets, plural. Let's see if we take that out. There is a bit of a difference, but it's not much. Um, so it's good to know that bracelet singular is the more common term, and that makes sense. People buy one more often than they buy a load, although buying a stack of bracelets is still cool. Uh, bracelets bracelet has been popular on Etsy over the past week so yeah it's still holding strong that is very interesting okay and the good news if you didn't hear on the keyword tool now the keyword ideas tab is the mixture we've removed the key the tags and the keywords and put them back into one so you can see all of the keyword ideas which are um, including all the tags that other shoppers are using and the keywords that buyers are searching for. If you want to only see the tags like we used to be able to do, you can click on this little thing here and that'll sort by that. But I want to see the lot. I don't want to miss a single keyword if there's one here. Um, and what I like to do, right, we're looking, I usually will search by this column here to look at the average searches, line them up and see what's good. But we are seeing something that's popping out of nowhere. So I want to see what else is popping. So if I click on the search trend bar column, then this lists them not by the average searches over the past year, but by the searches the keywords here that have been the most searched for in the past month. So I think that's pretty cool. And look at that bracelet is higher than gift um, necklace. Now, bear in mind, this could be things that people are searching for, but it can also be the tags that people have in their listings. So two people have had in a in a listing that ranks for bracelet, they also have the tag necklace. This could well be that they've got a set bracelets and necklaces. So you look at things and go, it's not necessarily always going to be relevant to what I what I'm selling, but it's good to see some things that okay, necklaces are doing well too, jewelry's doing well, earrings. So yeah, jewelry is doing well. Gift for her, although we've said this is this is down, it is still getting a lot a lot a lot of searches it's yeah um it generally it looks like yeah it picks up for mother's day so gift for her is still an okay tag but i'm not mad on it you want to be thinking of more more niche but you can use gift for her as a tag and bear in mind that you might be getting seen in searches. You might be aiming for searches of like bracelet gift for her, geeky gift for her, cat lover gift for her. You know, it doesn't, you're not necessarily aiming for gift for her because there's like 5 million listings in the US for that at least. So yeah. Okay, so here's here's where we're getting into some more. Crystals and charms are also trending big. Can crystals and charms be 
put on bracelets, a charm bracelet with crystals? Absolutely. So if that's something you sell and you've maybe not got something listed just now, these are popular kind of things. Look into that. Um, and gold is the top material that makes sense. Um, now, even though it was higher in November, just the term handmade, people are still searching for handmade. It's still high up there. So make sure and stress not just using the tag handmade. I mean, handmade gold bracelet. Yep, that's pretty good. But in your photos, in your videos, show that it's handmade. Make people fall in love with not just the item, but they're buying it from you, the artist. I say this every month. It's so important. And for my vintage guys, yep, handmade bracelets are cool. Do you have a handmade crystal charm? Not hand, a vintage crystal charm bracelet. You know, how can you put it all together? Um, now, yeah, here again, charm bracelet doing well, but also so vintage jewelry looks like it's on a high. Very good. And think about the stones as well. I mean, I am surprised that garnet isn't showing up more as that's the birthstone of January. But think February, March, April. What are the birthstones? Make sure you have them listed. Um, also for bracelets, be thinking things like um anniversaries a pearl anniversary could someone buy a pearl bracelet i i'm not up on all the the anniversary years but hey why not people buy for these kind of things um now here's here's where we get interesting things that are being searched for not bad just now that have a low competition on etsy a couple's bracelet that is such a cute idea. You can do couples, you can do best friends. You know, it's it's an idea to double up your sales as well. If people were going to buy only one and then they think, no, I'm going to buy one for you and one for me too. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. Here's another one that pops out. Oh, there you go. If that's something you're into, that can be vintage, that can be handmade, but an evil eye bracelet um, is not as... Um, there's not as much competition out there. So, yeah, we're just trying to squeeze in and, oh, no, I have no idea what this even is, but fairly low competition because we don't know what it is. You would look and go, the average searches. Now, I wouldn't write out things with only 400 average searches a month because 400 is still pretty reasonable. You know, you don't have to live and die on one keyword. Your listing can get found for more than one keyword. So that's not bad already, but it's taken a spike. 3,000 searches in January for whatever a nail bracelet is. That's kind of freaking me out. It's like a tooth bracelet. I don't know what it is. Someone let me know what a nail bracelet is. Um, so I like to look down and see what's lower competition that's been searched for a string bracelet. Again, that gets searches every now and again. So it's not something that you're going to get like regular sales, but it springs up out of nowhere. I'd say that's not bad. A string beaded bracelet. I don't know, but you know, I, I don't know how a string, I know nothing about jewelry, but what can it tie in with the other things? Can you do a string charm bracelet, a vintage string bracelet, handmade, obviously. Now that is interesting. I'm assuming opal bracelet might be a little low down because our wonderful Jan has pointed out to me several times when I mention opal ring, which is very popular, that opals aren't very good to be used in rings because they're too soft. So I can't imagine they do well in bracelets, um, but they are pretty. So is there a way you can recreate the look of an opal using something more, more long lasting resin? Can you do that? Probably. Oh my goodness, there is. Can, can you do that? Hermes bracelet? No idea what that is. Hermes is a, used to be a terrible de delivery company, so I have no idea where that's come from, but that's interesting. Always look into these things, see if this is something copyright. I, 
Hermes, yeah, that could be a jewellery manufacturer. See, I know nothing about these things. So that could be a vintage thing. Um, so if you have vintage, I think <laughs> I'm. it might be. Um, oh, there we go. I, did I not just say garnet? So garnet is up there, I just said. Not massive. Interestingly, not massively high competition, which says to me that the other monthly stones might not be too high either that is interesting um oh loving this one for any of you handmade people chainmail bracelet has just popped up um just popped up with a thousand and a half 1520 searches last month chainmail is definitely pretty cool and you could use it for a lot of other things that would fit in all the cosplay things are absolutely huge just now and you can add all sorts of stones and things to chainmail as well and you can do all sorts of things um i'm loving this one but i probably shouldn't say it out loud you can read that for yourself but I kind of like that. I'm not sure where that's come from. But yeah, anyway, so I think if you're doing jewellery and you're doing bracelets, there's a lot in here to dig into to look at what's picking up. Um, what can you make? You know, if you're doing, even if you're doing a bracelet that looks, that, that seems to be a charm bracelet, but can you turn it more can you lean more into that? Can you lean into the things that people are looking for? Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's it's it's just kind of exciting that bracelets doing so well. So jewelry makers, I hope that it's working well for you. Anyway, thank you so much, and I will see you next time.